Well, if you've been watching for any time at all, you know I love uh, my, my UMX Radian. And I was really excited. I saw a video by a gentleman by the name of Rick Rottermacher. He's got a YouTube channel that you should watch. He's really, really good. And he's got this mod that makes it uh, into a slow flyer. And basically what he does is he takes a couple of old uh, Citabria wings, which is one of... Uh, one of the most original UMX models and by taping the two together he gets a wing that's a little bit longer but the most important thing a lot lighter than the radian wing and then he takes a third wing and Puts it on top, as, as we'll look in a minute. And the and the thing is, is it makes it a really nice slow flyer in his videos. And I am going to try that out. So first, let's take uh, let's take the old wing off. And I'm going to make the the uh, magnet mod. By the way, for in a future video, assuming my magnets ever arrive in the mail. So the construction of the wing is really simple. Basically you overlap the two wings by about uh, three to three and a half inches. Make sure your leading edges are matching. And then just really simply tape the two wings together. on the two sides like that. I'm kind of putting it on the upper wing and then just kind of folding it in so that it gets a really nice uh, smooth attachment. And you can see that's plenty strong. And then that will fit right into the slot. And with just a little bit of fiddling, get a really nice uh, centered friction fit into the fuselage and it's really you don't you won't need to do anything else you won't need to uh, screw it or anything because that is holding really tight as you can see I ended up pulling up a little bit and it slit and it fit right in but it didn't cause any stress uh, to the fuselage then the second step is to take a third Citabria wing, and I've already cut it, but basically just it's three inches, measure an inch and a half, and just cut it straight down the middle. Be sure and use a new blade. You can get rid of the trailing edge, but take the leading edge, and with the leading edge pointing forward, put it upside down. You can see it'll kind of leave a gap like that. So we're going to do that with just two pieces of tape. And we have to be careful because it's uh, really flexible. So we'll just try to do this as gently as we can. We put a piece of tape on each side. We get it. Oops. We'll get it nice and centered. There's the center. And we'll just kind of lay that down so that each of the pieces of tape will attach. And let's see, that looks like the side can go forward a tiny bit more. Yeah, that looks 
looks about right. So basically you want the cur the maximum part of the curve on this wing to line up with the maximum curve on the bottom wings. And if you look at it, you can see it makes a nice uh, upward surface like that, which will slow the plane down quite a lot. Then the final step is just take a couple of small post-it tabs and put them on the leading edge. And these will be uh, Kruger flaps. I had to Google what Kruger flaps were, but basically they're kind of a flap that goes on the leading edge of the wing instead of the trailing edge. And this will help just slow it down a little bit more. And uh, I'm just kind of following sort of what Rick was putting on, but he said uh, just sort of experiment with it and uh, see how it goes. And they're so easy to adjust because, of course, they're post-its, so they just come right off. So anyways, that is the whole mod right there. And if it weren't evening, I would immediately rush out and fly it to see how it worked. But it's not, so we'll continue uh, tomorrow and to take it out and fly and see how it goes.